Many people search online for the following phrases, how to stop caring what people think and how to stop caring what people think of you. Today in our series on self-esteem, we tackle these tough questions. If you stick around, you won't be disappointed. PanicAttackRecovery.com Hi, I'm Lynette from PanicAttackRecovery.com. Welcome back to our video series on self-esteem. It's our belief that if people can address this issue, they can improve the quality of their life in a variety of ways. Today, we want to build on the idea we discussed in our last video. We suggested that you document your thoughts and talk back to those thoughts that might often interfere with your self-esteem. This allows you to refute errors in your thinking that can lead to self-esteem problems. Today, we want to discuss the over-concern that many of us have about what others think about us. There is a natural level of concern that we all have about what others think, but the real problem is when we become over-concerned about what others think of us. Self-consciousness has become a real focus nowadays with social media. It makes it easy to concentrate on how people are responding to us. One helpful step is to realize that often people's attitudes towards you are based on simply how they have learned to operate. In other words, it's their way of acting towards others. Try not to personalize their actions as much. This is easier said than done. But what's surprising is that just a little awareness of this fact goes a long way in providing a healthier perspective in many situations. Another helpful step is to take some time each day to focus on others. Do something nice for someone or do something that is strictly for the benefit of others. Better yet, start each day thinking about at least one nice thing that you can do for others today. It doesn't have to be a big thing. The point is that taking the focus off of yourself and placing it on serving others allows you to naturally worry less about what others think of you. The real key with doing something for others is not to look for a reaction from others. In other words, do these things as a selfless gesture so this isn't something where you look for people to thank you or respond in any way. It can make you feel better about yourself knowing you're doing something good, though it's not something that you seek recognition for. This might seem like a simplistic recommendation, but the change in focus at the beginning of one's day can be really helpful and, in the process, reduce the anxiety that many people feel at times in the morning. We hope that you've enjoyed this latest video and look forward to presenting a new video in the series next week. To make sure that you don't miss out on any of our content, please click on the card on the upper right corner of this video and subscribe to our free newsletter.